Mr. President, Excellencies, fellow members of the Federal Council, ladies and gentlemen. Onimo yam for Eye, Yen, Enige, Sir, Yebejevo, Newapam for Voyemanimu. This state visit is a historic moment for Switzerland, but it is also a logical step. This visit is historic because it is only the third ever from a country south of the Sahara and the first since Ghana obtained its independence in 1957. At the same time, today is the logical consequence of a lengthy development because relations between Switzerland and Ghana have for decades been characterized by mutual respect. The strongest ties between our two countries are the shared values with regard to democracy and the rule of law and our commitment to stability and peace on the world stage. Both countries help to end conflict through international cooperation. Switzerland is known for its humanitarian tradition and its good offices. Ghana is an influential member of the African Union. Ghana's participation and the UN peacekeeping measures is also extremely impressive. Switzerland supports these efforts through the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center in Accra since 2006. Ladies and gentlemen, not every connection between our two countries can be deduced at first glance. Take the gold frenali, or I can translate the traditional gold coin and the chocolate coins, both products that every child here grows up with and which are considered typically Swiss. But neither would exist without gold and cocoa, which we import on a large scale from Ghana. It is quite simple. We need the raw materials, and you have the raw materials. The resulting trade and business should benefit both countries. This principle is part of mutual respect. Gold and cocoa can create work and wealth in both countries. Ghana is already Switzerland's second most important trading partner in Africa. It is obvious that Ghana is increasingly striving to process raw materials in addition to extraction of them. That way, more added value remains in the country, which is a very understandable desire. For its part, Switzerland would like to support broader economic exchanges. Ghana is one of our few partner countries in the field of economic development cooperation. Switzerland, by this program, can participate in the efforts of the private sector to diversify the economy. Mr. President, the Federal Council in Corpore wishes you and your delegation a very warm welcome to Switzerland. Thank you. I thank President Simonetta Sumaruga, head of the seven-member Federal Council, for the honor of this state visit and for the opportunity to make this brief statement in the Federal Assembly, Switzerland's two-century-old House of Parliament. Excellencies of the Federal Council, relations between our two countries date back to the 19th century when the Basel missionaries arrived in the then Gold Coast, now Ghana, to undertake evangelical work. The missionaries pioneered the establishment of educational institutions across the country, including our first agricultural school at Acropon, my paternal hometown, in the eastern region of the country. They also credited with the establishment of health facilities including a missionary hospital at Agogo in the Ashanti region, and were instrumental in the spread of the cultivation of cocoa, a commodity which has been for the last century the mainstay of the Ghanaian economy. The Christian community in Ghana is greatly indebted to the Basel missionaries, who are also responsible for the translation of the Bible from English into two of the main Ghanaian languages, 
and who have been accorded due honor by us. I have also personally benefited from these very good relations because the first European head of state to visit Ghana when I assumed office as the fifth president of Ghana's fourth republic on 7 January 2017 was your 91st president, Her Excellency Mrs. Doris Leutard. Excellencies, in recent times, the ties of friendship and cooperation between our two countries have grown even stronger. Technical and financial assistance from the Swiss government, which have provided to the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center, have helped it carry out its activities and achieve its vision of becoming the preferred center on the continent for training, education, and research in matters of African peace and security. Again, in September 2014, the Swiss government provided assistance to Ghana, which helped ensure that the country did not record a single case of Ebola, the virus which unfortunately ravaged some neighboring countries in West Africa. In May 2017, our two countries signed a 2.6 million United States dollar remittance grant facility to help lower the cost of remitting money to Ghana. Ghana is currently Switzerland's largest trading partner in sub-Saharan Africa, larger from the export of gold and cocoa to Switzerland and the import of chemical and pharmaceutical products, as well as light machinery and military equipment from Switzerland. However, as I have stated on occasion, Ghana no longer wants to be dependent on the production and export of raw materials, including cocoa beans. We intend to process more and more of our cocoa in our country with the aim of producing more chocolate ourselves because we believe that there can be no future prosperity for the Ghanaian people in the short, medium or long term if we continue to maintain economic structures that are dependent on the production and export of raw materials. We intend to va add value to our raw materials industrialize and enhance agricultural productivity. This is the best way we can put Ghana at the high end of the value chain in the global marketplace and create jobs for the teeming masses of Ghanaians. We are one of the most business-friendly economies in Africa, evidenced in our status as the largest recipient of foreign direct investment in West Africa. Ghana has also been selected to host the Secretariat of the African Continental Free Trade Area, a market of some 1.2 billion people with a combined GDP of US 3 trillion American dollars. It is the world's largest free trade area since the formation of the World Trade Organization. Our goal is to make Ghana the hub of trade in Africa, and thus serving notice on Swiss investors to take advantage of the growing business-friendly climate in Ghana and of our unique position as host of the AFCFTA Secretariat to set up joint venture enterprises in our country and thereby access this huge market that the free trade area presents. We are determined in Ghana to ensure that succeeding generations of Ghanaians do not become victims or pawns of the international e economic order but her beneficiaries. Indeed, the project is a Ghana beyond aid, a Ghana which has discarded a mindset of dependency, aid, charity, and handouts, and is charting a path of self-reliance in her progress, fashioned out of the intelligent and disciplined use of her considerable human and material resources. I thank you for your attention and for the honor done the Republic of Ghana by conferring this state visit on her president, being the first since our nation became independent 63 years ago. Thank you very much indeed.